Hi, my name is Amy Long Carrera, Corporate Dietitian at Shield Healthcare. Today, we're going to talk about how to unclog your feeding tube. If you notice resistance when you try to put water or formula down your feeding tube, it may be clogged. Your tube can become clogged with dried medication or formula that sticks to the side of the tubing. You may actually be able to unclog the tube yourself using a 60 milliliter syringe and warm water. Water is the best choice to flush your feeding tube. Research shows that other fluids like carbonated beverages or juice may actually make the clog worse. To unclog your feeding tube, you will need a 60 milliliter syringe, warm water, and a towel. Always wash your hands before handling your tube or any supplies. First, attach a 60 milliliter syringe to your tube and pull back on the plunger to remove as much fluid as possible. Then, draw up at least 15 milliliters of water into the syringe, or enough to fill the part of your tube that you can see. Using the plunger on the syringe, slowly push the water into your feeding tube. Gently move the plunger back and forth to help loosen the blockage. If the clog doesn't release right away, clamp the tube and let the water sit in there for 5 to 15 minutes. If you can see the clog, massage that part of the tube gently with your fingertips. If you repeat those steps a few times and you still can't clear the clog, or if you're unable to use your feeding tube, contact your doctor or nurse. The best way to prevent your tube from becoming clogged in the first place is to regularly flush it with the amount of water recommended by your doctor or your dietitian. Always flush your tube before and after every time you use it. And since medications are more likely to clog your feeding tube, be sure to dissolve each medication completely before putting it down your feeding tube and flush it with water afterward. When you're not using your tube, make sure the clamp is closed to prevent air from entering the tube and make sure you regularly flush the tube with water when it's not in use. Remember, water is the best fluid to use to flush your feeding tube. For more tips and tricks on tube feeding, be sure to visit shieldhealthcare.com.